Good morning friends. Welcome to English with Richly. Today I am going to talk about the poem from the life of folk poet Vaisino by Lakdasa Vikramasinghe. From the life of folk poet Vaisino by Lakdasa Vikramasinghe. Vaisino cut the bamboo near Henikate and from those vetil made his hut and had nothing to cover it with nothing like a hundred and sixty bales of straw so he made his way to valuva at idamal goda and to the meniki said how poor he was and how from his twenties he had made those lines of song swearing before here all his fealties so she said Wait for the jala harvest and take the straw. Vaisino said, Oh, the rains are coming near. My woman fretting, her kid will get all wet. Then the kind Menike said, Oh, then you take what straw you need from the behind shed. And Vaisino being a folk poet and his lines not being all dead. The benison of Menike of Idamal Koda lives even today. Vaisino cut the bamboo near Henikate. The poem describes the line of folk poet Vaisino in the first line. In this poem, the person Vaisino is considered as a folk poet. The poem starts with the middle life of Vaisino. He has a family, wife and children. Sino is building a new house for his family. He goes to Henikate to cut the bamboo stick for his new house. Henikate means a thicket. The first line explains about the condition of his house and how the Sino built his house. He cuts the bamboo without any help. This line helps us to understand the economical background of the low class people. And from those vettels made his hut. Vettel means a bright sticks to make wall. So we can understand that the house of Vaisino is not huge. It is very small to fulfill his basic requirement. And had nothing to cover it with. He has nothing to cover the roof of his house. Nothing like a hundred and sixty bales of straw. This line shows the importance and need of the straw to make his hut. Moreover, the lines explains how Sino takes effort to collect the straw. He counts the water because of his poor background. This line clearly depicts the pathetic conditions of the low class people life. So he made his way to the valuva at Idamal Koda. Sino needs more water to complete his house so he moves to valuva at Idamal Koda. Valuva means a manor house. Idamal Koda means a village and to the Menike said how poor he was. When Sino reaches the Valuva, he meets Menike. Menike is a feudal lady. He explained about his poverty to the Menike and how from his twenties he had made those lines of songs swearing before her all his fealties. He expressed how he gave his loyalties for many years to the superiors. So she said, wait for the jala harvest and take the straw. But Menike asked the Sino to wait for the next season to collect those vattel. But it will take a long duration. But Sino cannot wait for a long time because jala harvest need two monsoon harvest period. But he cannot wait for long. Why Sino said, Oh, the rains are coming near. My woman fretted, her kid will get all wet. In, in these lines, Vaisino explains to the Menike that he cannot take any risk because the rainy season is coming and his wife and kid will suffer because of uncovered hut. Then the kind Menike said, Oh, then you take what straw you need from the behind set. The next line shows the kindness of Menike because she asked the Sino to get the straw from the shed behind the house. And Vaisino being a folk poet and his lines not being all dead, the benison of Menike of Idamal Godel lives even today.
here speaker gives unexpected movement to the readers traditionally the nobleman of the valuwa was strict person and the people were afraid of visiting him directly but the poem reveals the kind nature of the manike of ida of valuwa at idamagoda till sino is a folk poet so the song of the wise sino still alive the kindness of manike Commonly the feudal system is a negative aspects among the ordinary people but the poet in this poem depicts the positive aspects of feudalism
ਕਿਉਂ